Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. In this tutorial video, we will discuss percentage, base, and rate. We will talk about translating word problems into mathematical symbols. Also, we will discuss formula related to this topic. Likewise, we will use some shortcuts in solving percentage, base, and rate. So if you are new to my channel, hit the subscription button so that you will be updated to our tutorial videos. What is percentage anyway? Percentage represents a part of the base. It is without percent symbol and is either before or after the word is. While the base is a number that represents the whole part or 100%. The base can be found usually after the word of. While the rate defines what part of the percentage is of the base, it is usually accompanied by the percent symbol. So let's identify the percentage base and rate in this example. So what can be considered as the percentage because it comes before the word is. The word is in symbol that is equal to 20% is the rate because it has a percent symbol. The word of in symbol is multiplication and 500 is our base because it comes after the word of. Again, so let's try to identify the percentage base and rate in this example. So 10 is 50% of what number? So take note, 10 is the percentage because it comes before the word is. The word is in symbol is equal sign. 50% is the rate. The word of in symbol is times. And what number is the base because it comes after the word of? Let's try another example. 20 is what percent of 400? 20 is the percentage. Okay, is is equal sign. What percent is actually the rate because it comes before the word of? So of is in symbol, is multiplication symbol, and 400 is our base because it comes after the word of. So let's recall that 40 is equal to 8 times 5. Also that 8 times 5 is equal to 40. So we will use this concept in order to translate the next example. So 40% of 60 is what number? So this is not the usual arrange arrangement. However, that 40% is our rate because it comes before the word of. The word of is multiplication. And 60 is our base because it comes after the word of. The word is in symbol that is equal sign. And what number is our percentage? Again, for the benefit of our discussion, rate is our symbol R. Then we have B for the base and P for our percentage. Now that you have an idea on identifying the percentage, base, and rate. So let's try to solve this word problem. So this time, we will look for the unknown parts of all the percentage, base, and rate. So again, what is is percentage? The word is in symbol that is equal sign. 25% is the rate of its multiplication and 120 is our base. So again, percentage is P which is the same as 25% times 120. Take note that I can rewrite 25% as decimal. So I have here 0 0.25 times 120. Okay, so the percentage is equal to 30. Okay, so let's try another example. So what is 40% of 300? Again, so the percentage is equal to 40% times 300. So, but I can convert 40% as fraction. So we have percentage is equal to 40 over 100 times 300. Take note that I can, okay, factored out 100 and 300. So 100 divided by 100 is one. 
okay, 300 divided by 100 is 3. So to get the percentage, I'll simply multiply 40 times 3. So percentage is equal to 120. Now let's recall. So if we will put what? A symbol so that is equal to percentage, which is equal to P. The word is equal sign. So 40% is our rate. The word of is multiplication. And 300 is our base. Now, in order to solve the percentage, so we can use the formula, percentage is equal to rate times base. Let's have another example. So this time, what percent of 80 is 56? Again, so what? percent in symbol so this is our rate because it comes before the word of and the word of is multiplication 80 then the word is is equal sign and then we have 56 but if i'll divide both sides of the equation by 80 since that is the okay opposite operation of multiplication so I can factor the, this one 80 and 80 on this left side of the equation. So I have here rate is equal to 56 all over 80. But I can reduce 56 all over 80 by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 8. So I have 7 over 10. But my objective is to make my denominator as 100. So in order to do that, I'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So I have here 70 over 100, or by the definition of percent, so rate is equal to 70%. Take note that, okay, we are looking here for the rate times the base is equal to your percentage. So therefore, the formula for looking for the rate, so rate is equal to percentage divided by the base. Let's have another example. So I have 5% of what number is 20? So again, 5% times what number is our base because it comes after the word of is equal to 20. Since I'm looking for the base, I'll divide both sides of the equation by 5%. So, if I'll divide both sides of the equation by 5%, so base is equal to 20% divided by 5%. So, base is equal to 20 divided by 0 0.05 as decimal. Then we have base is equal to 400. Take note that if we will review that 5% is our R times what number that is our base is equal to our percentage. Now, in order to get our base, base has a formula of percentage divided by the rate. To summarize the formula that we okay get a while ago, so we have percentage is equal to the product of rate and base, while the rate is equal to percentage divided by the base, and do not forget to put the percent symbol, while the base is equal to percentage divided by the rate. Okay, since you have now an idea in solving the percentage base and rate, so let's try to use the formula. Okay, with this example, 36 is 45% of what number? Take note that 36 is our percentage, and our rate is 45%, and our base is equal to what number? Remember the triangle that, okay, so we are looking for the base. So base is equal to percentage divided by the rate, substituting the value. So that is 36 divided by 45%. Or, that is 36 divided by 0.45, and that is equal to 80. Let's try another example. So, 15 is what percent of 75? Again, 15 is the percentage. What percent is the rate? Okay, of is multiplication, and 75 is our base. 
since we are looking for the rate, remember the triangle. Okay, so therefore, rate is equal to percentage divided by the base. Substituting the value of percentage and the base, so we have 15 all over 75. But I can divide both numerator and denominator by 15. So this is equal to 1 over 5. But my objective is to make the denominator as 100. So again, think of a number that I'll multiply to 5 to make it 100. And that number is actually 20. So the rate is equal to 20 over 100. Or simply as by definition, this is equal to 20 so let's have another example. What is 15% of 360? So let's try to put this one in equation. So P is our percentage for what is equal to our rate is 15% times our base of 360. Since we are looking for the percentage, remember in our triangle that percentage is equal to the product of rate and base. So therefore, so substituting the value of rate of 15% and our base is 360, but 15% is 0.15 in decimal times 360. So the percentage is equal to 54. So that ends our discussion for today. So thank you so much. By the way, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, do not hesitate to write it on the comment sections. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe too.